Dear students, welcome to Statics and Dynamics with me, Dr. Loyal Zubi, and thank you for tuning in to this uh, video. We are going to start um, lecture seven, and we are continuing our discussion in the statics portion of the class. Today, we're going to be starting chapter three, which is the equilibrium of a particle. In the previous video, in the previous lecture, we talked about the dot product, what it is, and what are the usages of dot product, and how to det determine the angle between two vectors, and how to determine the projection of a vector along a specific line using the dot product. Now we are going to move into the free body diagram. Uh, what is the free body diagram and how to use it? And I know that uh, many of you have been using free body diagrams before. So it is going to be um, a quick uh, review of what we know so far and to build the foundation for the uh, coming lectures. So what is a free body diagram and how to draw one? And also we're going to talk about what is equilibrium because it's very important and it is actually the essence of the statics course and the topics. And also we're going to talk about how to construct the equations of equilibrium in 2D, uh, in two dimensions, and how to apply the equations of equilibrium in solving uh, two-dimensional statics problems. So let's start with this by talking about what is a free body diagram why it's important and how to draw one. Uh, one of the applications that um, it's very important that can show actually the importance of free body diagram is that you can look at this image here. You, you have a crane that is lifting a load and we need to decide if the um, straps ho holding the load, a uh, crane hook will fail or not. Uh, this is an important problem to solve and to make a decision if that strap will hold it or not. So to do so, we need to uh, draw a free body diagram and calculate the tension in the strap that's holding the load. Before finding the tension, we need to draw a free body diagram. And that's one of the applications why free body diagrams are important. Please remember that this problem is a two dimensional problem and we call it a coplanar force system. So what is a coplanar force system in more details? This is an example of a two dimensional coplanar force system where you can see that you have um, two you know attachment at point d and point uh, b and you have a load at point c with 40 kilograms so if the whole assembly is equilibrium which means that it's not moving uh, the particle a which is the mid in the middle this point here is also in equilibrium because the whole system is in equilibrium we need to find the tensions in the cables so in this cable and that cable for a given weight, which is 40 kilograms here, we need to draw the free body diagram first and apply the equations of equilibrium to find the tensions in the cable B and, and this cable from A to B and the cable from A to D. Please note that the point interac uh, intersection here, A, is a discontinued point, uh, which means that this cable AD is different from the cable AC and is different from the cable AB. That's why we're going to have a tension here that's different from this tension, that's different from the tension, which is the weight actually at C. This is an example of showing us what is a coplanar system. And uh, because the forces are lie, they lie on, on the sheet on the surface, on the plane, and the particle, uh, you know, any particle, it has a mass, but a size that is can be neglected. And that's what we're going to assume in the free body diagrams. And also we are, we are looking at equilibrium, a condition uh, of rest or constant velocity. We are look, looking here at the condition of rest. So I'm trying to build the uh, foundation of what is actually a free body diagram and how, how we will start drawing uh, one of these. So let's talk about the what, why, and how to draw a free body diagram for this particular uh, system, which is a two-dimensional system. So a free body diagram are one of the most important things that you need to uh, draw and use in statics and other engineering courses. Um, so it's a drawing that shows all external forces acting on a particle and it shows them um, using you know, uh, point uh, forces and uh, particles uh, for objects. That's how we idealize the objects. And why? So it is a key for, to being able to write the equations of equilibrium. So drawing the free body diagram is step number one in creating the equations of equilibrium, which we're going to be use, using in order to solve uh, for unknowns in a uh, static system, right? Especially, uh, in particular, we're going to solve for forces and angles. 
so uh, which are used to solve the unknowns um, that I would have mentioned before, forces and angles. How uh, we would imagine the particle to be isolated or cut free from its surrounding. So this is our structure. We will cut the, the particle here in the middle where it's going to be, um, all of them are attached together and we create this uh, two dimensional uh, Cartesian uh, plane and we put the forces on it. We will show all the forces that act on the particle. We have active forces and reactive forces. And the active forces, are the, the force I want to move the particle and the reactive are the ones that are going to resist movement of the part of them, you know, of the motion. We're going to do this in an example uh, uh, in the in-person sessions. Also, after that, we need to identify each force and show all the known magnitudes and directions. Uh, let's say for the example we have the force here the weight is 40 kilogram so the force you multiply it by 9.81 and you get the 392.4 newtons and the unknown forces uh, we should show them as well and the directions of we show them as variables so the fb and fd are the ones that we need to um, solve for so step one is actually creating the free body diagram for any system uh, and the end goal is to uh, construct equations of equilibrium and solve for unknown variables in such systems uh, that we will be asked to. And those variables are going to be the forces or angles. And we, we're going to do this um, in, in pra we practice this in the in-person sessions. Um, thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about the equations of uh, equilibrium in two dimensions. And we're going to talk about a couple of forces, force types that we are going to frequently use, which are the spring forces and what, what is tension and what, how it's different from the other, uh, you, know, um, you know, active forces that we know of. Uh, thank you for watching. Until the next video. Bye.